Hello everyone and welcome to my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. I am a massive Animal Crossing fan. I've been playing since GameCube days. So naturally Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have been looking forward to this game for such a long time and the delay it sucked but it's here now and that's all that matters. Before I start this video I want to give a shout out to Nintendo very kindly giving me the game code so I can make some videos and stuff so thank you Nintendo for your support. So yeah, my island. This is my island of Moonrose. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I got that name from. I know it's what I called my New Leaf Town so I couldn't think of a better island name so decided to stick with that. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I have done in the last week. Animal Crossing at the time of recording has been out for a week and I've been playing heavily. <laughs> well I don't know, I don't know actually. I know people that have been playing a lot more but I've played a lot that's safe to say and so I want to show you how my island has developed over the last week. So for those of you who don't know Animal Crossing, you it is the hardest game to describe if if you've not played it and it's hard to describe the appeal, but basically you get given a property and you have to pay your mortgage to a raccoon. Let's put it very simply and there's also bugs and fish and fossils to collect and donate to a museum. That's pretty much it. Uh, but you can also like decorate your surroundings and that's that's to play on that point, like there is so much customization and things you can do in New Horizons. Uh, some of the new features, it's a lot more customizable. You can craft things and you can do a bit more landscaping, uh, but still a bit too early for me to do a lot of that but we'll get on to that later so we're starting off at my house i wanted to start off at the airport but we're starting off at my house um uh, we'll, we'll go in at the end i tell you what i'm gonna jump cut here and we're gonna start at the airport okay so the airport is where you first land on your new island and when you first get to your island there's gonna be weeds and trees and rocks and branches everywhere and you're just going to want to pick them all up and do some tidying up sell a few things but keep some stuff as well just just follow what Tom Nook says it's very very beginner friendly I know uh, a couple people that it's their first Animal Crossing game and they've gone quite well with it but as you enter my island here I have picked up some of these lovely yellow roses I'm I'm not a massive fan of yellow roses, I've just got these for now as, well, to indicate where I kind of want a, a future path to be. And before I forget, we do have Deirdre here as well. She was one of my starting villagers. When you move in, you get two villagers that move with you. And I tell you what, let's go straight to the map so I can show you the map. This is as big as you can get the map unfortunately but this is the layout I went with you get to choose out of a handful of island layouts it's not the end of the world decision um, because you can do a little lap little bit of landscaping later like you can change the water a little bit the cliffs and where things are where your house is you can move shops around which I'm a really indecisive person so that's helped a lot and that is really the biggest new thing with New Horizons in my opinion um, a lot more customizable options for the landscape like putting items outside and stuff just just a lot more like that as you can see my house is there it's glowing pink I'm gonna move that eventually I think I'm gonna move that up near at the top I'm thinking on the third level so where you see the dark green that is the lowest level and then the next shade green up is second level and the lightest green is 
third level so there's multiple le- levels of the island as well which is crazy and you need a ladder at the moment to get to them but you can make ramps later on there's just so much customization but at the very start of the game before you get your first bridge you can only build on well on one side of the water because obviously you can't get to the other side of the water so that's where I've got my two villagers on the side so I started off with Deirdre and Snake so they are there all of this I'm probably gonna move around quite a lot and eventually I went to a few islands and got Tabby, Ozzy and Margie from the getaway island things but enough looking at my map let's actually show you around oh there's a present so we go to this cool little wheel which you know you can still press left and right to select um, the tools as well so it's taken me a while to get used to using the wheel we got a cowboy shirt awesome but right now I guess I should show you what I'm wearing I have a lovely Nintendo purple hat I love purple you may have realized so that was from snake I was gifted this lovely mask by Sophie and got a rainbow sweater from a balloon uh, the trousers I already had when I started the game and these lovely black rubber toe shoes I believe they're called from my friend Colette so lots of gifts from people already and talk about oh and the backpack from Affy and talking about um, gifts this is a gift that Affy left for Joe on my island which he hasn't been over since but this is Snake's house but we'll, we'll start off nothing too exciting on the beach but I've started planting some trees a lot of them are fruit trees that they're, they're temporary it's just plotting out where I want trees in the future I like symmetry this is kind of how I um, lay out my trees I, I like yeah I like symmetry uh, it's a temporary orange plot I just got some oranges from a friend Jack the other day so I planted them here for now I'm gonna plant a few more of those later just to get a little bit more money there is a nice little empty patch here where I'm thinking I might put the campsite here it might be a temporary thing I'm thinking it's not too far from you know the airport it's right next to the beach it's right next to the river and I just think it might be a nice place with the campsite but I've not unlocked that yet and so we go down here we've got Deirdre's house a few flowers I had to plant to get things going today day seven I managed to get my town hall so I've got Isabel now as well which is really cool that's gonna help out a lot and yes I've still got the default flag I've not done too many designs yet I suppose I could show you the designs that I've done so far on I've not touched these since day one really but tried making my channel logo just very quickly to get Nook Miles also made a few of these cool designs as well but unfortunately they don't look too great on clothing they look um, they look pretty bad they look much better 8 bit 8 bit pixelated that's the word that I was looking for so not not to uh, not gonna use those designs anytime soon so if we go over here well we might as well start down here but yes all these trees are pretty much where they were when I first moved in I want the, to surround my main buildings with I think I'm gonna surround them all with white roses eventually so I've got some white roses here thankfully my native oh we got a visitor today as well but I haven't got enough money for you and Museum progress is actually doing all right. I haven't had too many doubles. Bugs, I'm I'm not sure how many I'm missing. I found the peacock butterfly earlier today, but I'm still trying to find a good online resource and checklist for bugs and things to make sure I've got everything before March is over uh, I haven't seen too many different varieties oh wow I feel like they put two of every butterfly in here even though you only donate one but this new mu museum if you have played past Animal Crossing games the, the new museum oh it's 
you actually want to go in and spend time because there's just so much more to see and different levels as well. I don't even know what that is. You know, this game is very educational and I love this bit as well. This is like a little research room. I've been to a few museums over the last few years and yeah, they do have little rooms like this so you can see people working and looking at stuff. So I think that's... It, it's unnecessary, like, but it adds so much more. Uh, oh, wow, snakes in it. I didn't even know villagers could come in here as well. Hey, snake. I'm not a massive fan of snake. He, he gave me this awesome hat, but the rabbit characters, I don't know. They're not my favorite. I'm, I've not, oh, hello. I think you're a bagworm. I've not decided who I want. 100% yeah I think you can have eight villagers I can't remember uh, but I want Lucky, Pinky, Ribot, um, I can't remember but yeah yeah I got a lot of these already look at the um, Helix fossils there good stuff very I've had very very few fossil duplicates so far. I think I might have finished my saber tooth tiger. Yeah, it's just like so many levels. And yeah, I love it so much. Oh, and there's another room. I only discovered this room yesterday. Just when you think you've explored everything, there's like new areas. So this is, I guess the biggest, there, is that the saber tooth tiger? Yeah. So I've completed that within a week, which I think is really cool. Um, it's just, it's just so much, and you can go across here and down here. Brilliant! The museum is so much better. And then we go see Dippy. Go down here. Have I been down here? Is this the way out? I can't even remember. Yeah. So yeah, that's how I'm getting on with the fossils. And at this point, I want to say I am not time traveling. Um, being a lot of debates <laughs> over how ethical time traveling is in Animal Crossing. I do not time travel. This is all legit. Um, I have no need to time travel, really. So I'm not going to. And I just want to make the game last. Um, yes, it's frustrating when things are building and stuff, but you know what? Whatever. It's, there's no rush. It's a marathon, not a sprint, Animal Crossing. And I want to make it last as long as possible. And next week as well, the Easter event will be starting. Do you know what? I've never been here. This is the first time doing all this. And there's my, uh, what's it called? Super rare fish. And I've never been down here. I didn't even know this area existed. This is nuts. Hello. <laughs> so much to see in this game. Nice. Yeah, so I'm not time traveling. Easter event next week as of time of recording so i'll be collecting all the easter stuff what's down here i don't think i've been down here yet either but yeah fish i am missing two fish that are available at the moment i think it's the char and the string fish the string fish being one of the ones that are oh cool you can go in oh wow this is so cool yeah, the string fish, annoyingly, it's the elevated surface river fish after 4pm, I believe, and I've just not managed to get it. Uh, I've used a lot of bait. Now, in this game, you can make fish bait out of clam shell things that you can find on the beach. When we're on the beach in a minute, I will show you if we see one. Definitely don't ignore them. Honestly, don't ignore them because if you make fish bait, it, it's kind of a little bit easier 
just a little bit to get some of the stuff you need like say this is called a fish mouth fish mouth <laughs> river mouth and you can get uh, a certain species of fish there you go you see that in this corner when you see like steam coming there you go coming out of the sand like that you um dig up one of them and you can make fish food from that and then you can keep throwing fish food in and it makes fish appear which is which is very very helpful let's put that away oh is that a that's a peacock butterfly and as you can see i've already got black flowers i believe if you put two red roses together you could get a black rose spawn so yeah this is the first bridge I built and it comes over to the shop. I'm not a hundred percent about where my shop position is but like I said everything's probably gonna be moving a lot in my time playing this game so you've got first waterfall over here and annoyingly because I've only got one bridge at the moment I have to vault pole over all of these vault pole being a new item now in this corner I dedicate it to the coconuts and the palm trees uh, not sure about this one here but I don't want too many coconut trees but this is gonna be coconut coconut corner so I think I've got a nice little pattern although I might get rid of that one because it kind of obstructs if I want to go fishing this will be there so it's a very pretty game very very pretty game and I guess we can go up to this level as I said I'm struggling to get a certain fish that appears in the river at night at the moment so I've been coming to this pond and a pond on the wow another wow they this is my third one I was having tr trouble finding these until today, but there you go. Oh no. Yeah, so after some time your in your equipment will break. And look, I have some purple roses as well, which I believe is when you have two white ones together. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm not sure why I planted those, but I only really want roses on my island money trees are back if you find a glowing spot on the floor and you know dig up the money and then replant money you get a money tree which is awesome I have a workbench here and so this is a really cool new feature on New Horizons you could just craft things you cut down trees you you collect weeds, rocks and everything and you can build stuff and it's really really fun. So I've been running from this river over to this river to try and get the string fish to appear but sadly I haven't had much luck yet and I think I've only got like four days left to get it uh, before it goes for a while so that's not ideal so fingers crossed I can get that later today. So all these flowers up here, when you first get to your island you don't have any flowers on the lower level, at least I don't think you did, and then when I managed to get come up to this level with a ladder, I was thrilled to see I actually had roses. So we got another level up there, actually I never showed you the other layer. Now this is where I'm thinking of having my house at some point I'm going to I don't like sideways waterfalls so I'm thinking of having my house if the map comes up show you where we are I'm thinking of having my house somewhere around here and then the waterfall going down and then across I I just want to appreciate the waterfall for waterfall more <laughs> get my words out and yeah I still forget about this little uh, wheel, which is an upgrade. The tool wheel is an upgrade, which you can get with your Nook Miles. And Nook Miles haven't really, there you go, I've got a red dot. So uh, Nook Miles, like as you do things throughout the game, water plants, plant 
um, trees, break stuff, or in this case, pop balloons, you get nook miles, and nook miles can be redeemed for multiple benefits. Today I upgraded my storage because uh, at first you only get these two lines and then you can upgrade for that line and now I've got four lines of storage so I am very happy about that. Uh, so this little bit of third level land up here I'm thinking of putting the museum. Um, yeah I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna build it out a little bit because it's quite small but I'm thinking of putting the museum up on its own little perch. I don't know, I need to think it through so much. I'm going to change this probably so much. You see a little river fish in there, so this is another place I've been trying to get string fish and having not much luck. So if we use the wheel by pressing D-pad, not D, yeah. Um, still trying to get used to using that. Also, the other D the other circle pad on the pro controller well, I use the pro controller to play and I've only played this docked uh, will get you the magic wand ah no it does the camera I can't remember how you get the magic wand but there's a magic wand that changes your outfits I'll get that one day but one of the things that made me really want this island is the love heart pond I found a layout with a love heart pond and it's super cute, I'm going to keep this, build around it, I've been trying to build some greenery around it already, that's a money tree, that will be going, but I want a nice little bench or a chair up there for two people to sit on, I just think it's really cute, and this is all cherry and peach trees around here, which I had to pick for money, but yeah, some cherry and peach trees, again, subject to change, but, and then I've got... If you press this button, you can do emotions. That is the ZR button, which is cool. You unlock that after some time. So yeah, I don't like, I think I'm going to have a home here or something. Maybe even the tent, I don't know. Uh, but this area definitely needs some work. I'm going to smooth out the river eventually because I don't like how many nasty little turns there are. Um, I don't want to make it look too unnatural, I'm going to do it as, much, as natural as I can, but at the moment I'm not a fan of how these rivers look. So on this side of the island, I don't like this little bit of green that goes out, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, um, I'd rather just have beach, but we'll figure that out later. So if we go all the way up here, I haven't done much over here yet, I probably won't put coconut palm trees here, and yeah, not much going on here yet, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. We have our pier, and I have to keep an eye out on this pier because there are two fish that I need that are pier fish. But I'm not stressing out too much. Oh, hello. Hey. You got something for me? I wasn't sure about Tabby. Oh, she just gave me a mountain bike. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna sell that. I'm not a mountain bike person. Hey. This is Ozzy. I like Ozzy. Ozzy. Oh, great. Talking about Joe. I have made a workbench here because obviously things break a lot so you need I needed easy access to make a new rod from when I'm on this side of the island. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be keeping it here, we'll see. And then I've got two homes here because I didn't know where else to put them. A few trees. Yeah, it's 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 slow progress the first week, like if you're new to Animal Crossing games, the first week, like the first few days even, it, it feels really slow and busy work. But when you get the ball rolling, it's it's just fun. And I don't know how to explain it. You can make the game 
however you want and do whatever you want really and today I decided I want a bridge here so I don't have to pole vault everywhere and there pole vault everywhere so I spent 168,000 bells on this bridge Seen as I have a 500k mortgage to pay, I wasn't best pleased, but this bridge is going to save me so much time when looking for fish. But unfortunately, I've got to wait for that to be finished tomorrow. Which is, uh, it's a bit of a wait, but I'm not going to time travel because I can be patient. And you can only have one of those projects at a time. So hopefully... Tomorrow I can build a campsite or something. <gasps> another one? It's another peacock butterfly. But I haven't got a net. So, finally, I'll show you my home. Now there's not much to see. My The way I play Animal Crossing is I decorate last. I will save some of the rare items, like as you can see here. I, I've seen Gulliver twice and got the mask and I got Stonehenge. So, I've kept them. And so you start off in a tent and then you get a bigger tent and then you can make it house and then it gets to a bigger house, I think. And then you unlock this back room and in this back room, I have my bears, which kind of just happened. You get a Nintendo Switch uh, from Nintendo sent to you. This rose was from Joe. Uh, this, this is my... This is my old switch. Yeah, I got a little bit excited when that dropped from a balloon. It's like, oh, I got a switch. And it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a light switch. But yeah, this is my very basic little room. I haven't been decorating just yet because I'd rather spend the money on paying off the mortgage. Most items I've got have been gifts. And in this room, it's kind of, I don't know if the game does this on purpose, but in the mail a couple of days ago, I got both a toilet and a bath from, I think it was from the Happy Home Academy and someone else, I can't remember. But I guess I thought, well, I guess I'm making a bathroom then. But it's a really big bathroom. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the space. But yeah, here is my very big bathroom. And I guess on the other side, I'll have to make a kitchen. But yeah, that's, there's a few mortgages away yet. And, oh, I forgot to mention that my native fruit was pears. You haven't seen any pears today because I picked them all yesterday, took them to Joe's Island and sold them because they were foreign fruit. So they were more money. That's all I can tell you about my island after the first week of playing Animal Crossing. And yeah, I am loving it. I am absolutely loving it. If you're thinking of picking up this game, you know, it's nice, it's relaxing. I can't not recommend it. It's just a really relaxing escape from the world. I heavily recommend it. But yep, yeah, this is my life on the island after one week. And I plan to do a few more of these check-ins over the next year just to show you guys how my island is developing. And that said, let me know in the comments what you think of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Are you playing it? What villages have you got? How are you getting on? Let me know. And as always, share with your friends. Press the like button if you have liked this video. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.